Hugh Wall, the Phillip Rivers, Eli Manning drafted in the same year, traded for each other. Talk? Because Rivers and the Chargers head east this week, still in search of their first win. But so are Eli and the Giants. And as you'll see, these teams are almost mirror images of each other. So here's each team's key to victory, plus the biggest X factor and our predicted winner. The key for New York, keep Eli Manning upright. The Giants have issues on their O-line, but have only given up eight sacks so far. However, you don't have to remind Giants fans of the last time left tackle Eric Flowers took on an elite pass rusher in Zigianza, a game in which he allowed three sacks. Now he'll get a heavy dose of Joey Bosa and Melvin Ingram, who have led the way to their team, racking up 12 sacks, tied for third most. The Chargers' key is to keep Odell Beckham contained. It'll be interesting to see how often Casey Hayward gets a chance to cover OBJ one-on-one. Hayward spent a good chunk of his Sunday shadowing Alshon Jeffrey. He was on him for 18 plays, was thrown at just four times, and allowed just two receptions for 21 yards. We saw what New York looked like earlier this year without Beckham and what they look like with him. But even when he's been on the field, he hasn't eclipsed the 100-yard barrier yet. And probably, not a coincidence, the G-Men don't have a win. Our X factor in this one is the Chargers run game. Once again, it is a weak spot. They average 3.6 yards a carry and have put up just 67.5 yards a game. If Melvin Gordon wants to make himself more relevant, this is the team to do it against. The Giants' rush defense has been getting deemed to the tune of 4.6 yards a carry and are giving up 142.8 yards a game. Only four teams are giving up more. The edge in the battle for win number one goes to the Giants. Not only are they at home, the Chargers have to travel across the country, and they were just 1-3 and three on the East Coast last year.